connecting the world's photographers and their customers. Hi, I'm Yuka. I used to live in Southeast Asia for about four years, and I witnessed so many Asian couples were so desperate for taking beautiful photos and in ideal places. Back in Japan, I realized there's a big problem in photo shoot market, which creates high price but low quality. There's a big black box between the customers and the service providers. So total spent on professional photography in Japan is $12.9 billion per year. And photo studios and agencies get 80 to 90% of, the, of, the, of it as a commission, where um, employed photographers get only 10 to 20% of the revenue. So that means photographers get little money and customers get crappy quality of photos. Don't you think that we must change it? So what we do here, we let the customers to book the photographers directly. So on our platform, you can choose the photographer by access such as locations and, sorry, uh, by locations and uh, search by access locations and preference and look for the photographers and book them easily by looking at the portfolio pictures and evaluate them on information. And then um, let them to discuss on the photographers after booking um, the plan for the photo shoot. And then the photographers meet the great photographer to leave the best memory forever. So uh, our advantage is simply employers photographers and offers great affordable quality to customers. For example, when you have to pay $2,000 to agencies, you only pay $500 to independent photographers with much better quality. Okay, so for the photographers, there's not only marketing, but also user, um, also support for tasks such as responding to inquiries, collecting monies, or uh, booking the schedule, and also um, delivering photos and so on. When, family, when they use family, great photographers become so busy, and our platform can streamline their duties so they can just focus on the shooting. Once a photographer uses our system to synchronize their schedule and get bookings, it creates high, st high stickness. So this is our traction from last November we launched. Uh, we have more than 300 photographers and about 50 bookings every month without no promotion. So um, our business model to get a uh, commission from each booking, and also um, we are also testing paid acquisition to figure, um, <coughs> sorry, also intending to generate source revenue in helping photographers' duties. Uh, our distribution strategy is to tie up with other companies, such as uh, wedding-oriented companies or companies we can create um, packages together, or we, so we also also testing paid acquisition to figure out the appropriate, appropriate cost effectiveness. And um, this is our team. I used to work at the wedding magazine in Japan, and after that I used to work in the wedding industry in Vietnam and Singapore. And CTO is, uh, has a lot of ex um, experience in setting new business, new uh, IT services in companies such as Baidu, and um, DNA and other startups. And we have um, good, um, <coughs> amazing investors such as East Ventures and Matsumoto from uh, Merikari, which is the most growing company in Japan now. So our mission is to eliminate friction between great photography and those who want it. Thank you. Thank you, Famery. Judges, can we ask some questions? So what, what, do you, what do you think about the addressable market size? I mean, uh, it seems like it's not that like a repetitive transactions because it's wedding photos. You usually uh, no, we're not just focusing more. on the wedding photos uh, because that is the origin that I noticed that uh, photos are not good in Japan. And uh, because I have a lot of photographers who is taking photos, that means that not, they're not focusing on wedding, but they're also like taking family photos or photos in the events and also like uh, any photos, and which, which is uh, one billion market in Japan, also expanded to in the, uh, different countries. One billion US dollar market. Yeah, in Japan. And, and 
if just ah, let's sorry, 12, um, sorry, 12, uh, 90, eh, uh, 1 2 10 billion, yes. So let's say I'm a user. I'm, I'm going to book a photographer, and then I, I know who's, who I like, so I can't directly contact him or her without going through your, your platform. Is it, yes. is it possible? So, so there's two how things. How do you actually protect? Yes, two things we have. Uh, one is that we are having the promotion packages to, for the users because the customers are uh, photographers do not have the bookings every day. So that means we can control their capacity of uh, photo shooting so that we can uh, negotiate with the photographer if they can have a special price with us so that we can uh, give the promotion cost for the photographer, uh, for the customers, which is uh, you know, uh, the advantage for the photo, uh, customers. And also, uh, we're going to make a booking system so that uh, it's easier for them to book online. Yeah. Mm. Uh, do businesses, uh, do they book with the same photographers uh, over and over again? Yes, I mean, we are now testing it. Uh, you mean uh, Just in general. Customers? So I, I, I kind of feel like if you find a good photographer, you, you tend to just contact that person every time you have an event. And I'm wondering how much of that market is from actually just businesses uh, booking the same photographers, right? Because the, the, the value proposition that you have is if I, already, if I don't have like, you know, some guy that I can invite, then I would use your platform. But then if I, if I find someone that I like on your platform, then there's no incentive for me to repeat. So we are now thinking to give them the, uh, the uh, pa percentage, uh, how do you say, like, uh, uh, for, for example, like family photos. So if you want to use it again and again, we're going to give them the discount so that there's going to be a reason that they're going to. But I can contact yeah. the photographer directly. I, I, I like this person, right? I know that they take good photos. Mm -hmm. Why would I use your platform again? Maybe sometimes if you really like the photographer, just let them go and you know, directly um, you know, directly book the photographer. It's uh, us, uh, for us to them, for them to you know, find the photographer they, like, uh, they want to you know, book. So, Especially in the wedding, it's a difficult thing to have a good, you know, your favorite photographer. But anyway, um, if you want to repeatedly have a, to, to book the photographer and you, you have a particular photographer you like, you, you, you can just straight go ahead. But uh, if you like the photography, you want to uh, have a feeling that you want to try some other photographers too sometimes. So it's just uh, for them to, to have a chance to use us. Yeah. All right, time's up. Yeah. Thank you, Famery. <laughs> Thank you.